Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. I'm getting ready to start dinner today. You know, Mardi Gras season is getting close. We have Mardi Gras in Mobile here in Alabama. And as we all know, New Orleans. So I'm going to share you with you my version of jambalaya today. And it is so, so good. So I've got really clean hands. I've got a pound of chicken. Now I'm just using chicken tenders today. It's easier. You can buy it already. If you can buy it cut up, do, or buy chicken breast and use those. So with my really sharp Rita knife, and these tenders are a little bit frozen and it makes them easier to cut up that way. So I'm gonna cut them up in, oh, half inch cubes, half inch, three quarter cubes. And um, we're gonna get them in this pot and there's so much deliciousness going into this pot. And we're gonna serve it over rice and it's gonna be so good. So let's finish chopping this up. We've got some sausage that we want to get in here as well. Oh my goodness, y'all. I can taste this already. I haven't had it in a while and I'm ready for it. And as you know, I don't cook ch cut chicken up on my wooden board. It all goes on the plastic board. So let's finish that. I'm going to give my hands a quick wash since I was handling the chicken. Can't be too careful. Now, in my skillet here, I've got getting hot. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of butter. Y'all know I'm going to use butter. And we're going to use about a tablespoon of olive oil. Both of them together, the butter gives it all that flavor. That might have been a little more in a tablespoon, but that's okay. Um, all, the butter gives it the flavor and the olive oil keeps it from getting too hot. So let's put this chicken in there. Now it's gonna cool the oil off a little bit because it's frozen, but it'll pick up. We might need a bigger skillet. Let's get rid of this. Now, let's get another knife. We're going to cut up our sausage. I have, y'all know I like the Eckrich skinless sausage. And I'm gonna cut it into little rings. If I can get this open. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut that into little rings and we're going to add it in here with this chicken. How's everybody been doing? It has gotten cool here in Alabama and it stayed cool for just a few days. It's warming up a little bit today compared, I'm going to rinse my hands again. And I've got to get something to stir all that goodness with. Let's give this a good stir. Okay, so, so while that. that's working, I'm going to cut up an onion. We're just going to chop it up, slice it up. And we're going to get it in the pot. We're going to let that chicken and sausages cook a little bit. We want to get them a little bit brown. So tell you while I'm letting that brown and I'm getting this onion chopped up, let's take a break and I'll come back when we're ready to add some more of our goodness to this pot, okay? I'll see you in a minute. All right, my chicken's getting brown. The sausage is browning, and it is looking so good down in this skillet. Oh, I can't wait 
to have some of this. Can you see what that's looking like there? That's deliciousness. Now, we're going to add our onion. I got it all chopped up, just like a medium-sized onion. And I made a little mess, but that's okay. It'll clean up. Let's stir that around. Hear that. And I'm going to add some celery. I want what would amount to about two ribs of celery. You know, I'm just going to throw a good handful in. Just full, good handful. We like celery, but we don't like tons of celery. Mm. Let's stir this around. Let's get that softened a little bit now. I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and pepper. Now, let's be careful with the salt because we've got other ingredients that are salted. The sausage, we're going to be using broth. Um, you could always add salt, tomatoes. So we're going to get that going and let's saute that. It says saute at about five minutes, but it's coming along pretty good. Mmm. You hear all of this. I love that sound. And if you can smell it, you can smell it. My Stephanie will be here in a little bit. And maybe she'll have some lunch with me. While this is going, I'm going to start my rice. I've got, um, in my rice cooker, I've got, where's my measuring cup? I have got one cup. This comes with my rice cooker of rice and I've got just a little over two cups of water. I rinsed my rice. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in it. Not much. Push the button and forget about it. How about that? I love things like that, don't you? Ooh, this is coming on good. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to add my flour. I've got three tablespoons of flour. Let's stir that around. You want to cook that a couple of minutes because you want to cook that raw flour taste out of it. And this is what's going to help thicken all these juices in here because we're going to be adding tomatoes and all that broth. Mmm. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings. I have a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, a teaspoon of cumin, and I have my recipe calls for a tablespoon of cayenne. That's way too much for me. So I've got about a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne. And I'm going to go ahead and put those in there. And let's simmer, stir these around with our flour. Toast them up a little bit. That just brings out the flavor of these dried herbs. Okay. So next I'm going to add a can of diced tomatoes. Just dump it right in there. And I'm gonna use what amounts to about a 14 ounce can of chicken broth. And I tell you what we're gonna do, we're just gonna measure it right here in this tomato can. It's 14.5 ounces. We might have to use more. I usually find that I use more because I like mine a little bit juicy. So we're going to leave that broth out here. Now we need to add some Worcestershire sauce and we're going to add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now let's stir all that goodness together. Mm. I don't think you can see in here spot, can you? I'm going to hold it up for you. Ah, 
Now, that um, putting that broth in it and tomatoes kind of stopped the cooking for just a minute, but it'll start back. Doesn't that look good? Oh, yes. So I want to let this simmer for a few minutes. I'm going to get my rice cooked. Then we're going to come back and I've got some shrimp that I want to add at the end. My shrimp is already cooked, so it won't take but a couple of minutes in there to heat it up. You can use raw shrimp if you want. Um, I couldn't find any raw shrimp that was already peeled, and that's what I wanted. So I got the already cooked, and it just don't take as long. So give me a minute. I'm going to simmer this about, I don't know, it's going to simmer about five minutes because everything's cooked and get everything hot. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to add the shrimp in. Then we're going to serve up a bowl. Okay. And my jambalaya mixture has simmered. Our rice is cooked. So I'm going to take a fork and fluff up this rice for just a little bit. And we are going to eat a bite. Stephanie just came in. So she's as excited as I am about this dish. But first we got to put our shrimp in. So like I said, it's frozen. I got the 4150 medium sized shrimp. That just means there's 41 to 50 shrimp per pound. And uh, we're going to stir that around and let it get warm. Now oh what you God. don't want to do is because in this case, my shrimp was pre-cooked. You don't want to let it sit in here and cook too long because it'll get tough. I want this just in here long enough to thaw the shrimp and let it get hot. So in the meantime, I've gotten our rice cooked. I chopped up some green onions for a little garnish. I'm going to go ahead and plate up some rice. Stephanie, you want rice with yours? No. No rice? All right. We are going to have us a good, delicious lunch today. Get a couple of spoons. Let's get this all heated up. So let me get this shrimp heated. I'm going to come back in just like two minutes and we're going to serve this up. So y'all don't go anywhere. You want to see how it tastes. Okay, so it didn't take but a couple of minutes for this to get good and hot. So I'm going to serve us up some. You haven't seen Stephanie in a while. She come visit with me today. How's that, darling? That's good. And there's some green onions if you want it for garnish. Oh, I love the juice. And I'm putting rice on my uh in mine. And because I'm on keto, I use the rice cauliflower. You know, I'm sure that would be good. You can not really tell a difference. And I'm gonna put some green onions on here. Now, look at here. Look at that bowl of jambalaya. Now, we're going to go and enjoy this. I want you to taste this and tell me what you think about it. We hadn't made this in a long time, have we? No, I know it's so good. Now, I cut back on the cayenne pepper. Stephanie added a little more hot sauce to hers. You can add more cayenne. I said my recipe calls for a tablespoon. And I'll link that in the recipe below, but I'm also make a note. Use as little, or if you don't want any, you can leave it out at all. It's a preference. Absolutely a preference. So, we're going to go enjoy our bowl of jambalaya. 
And I hope you'll make this. And if you do, let me know what you think. All right, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.